and let's go to the top view and create this 2d supply curve by tracing the image which is for the back side of the car i just started this uh, curve from right here and continue this curve along this direction and finish this right here the vertical distance of this point is uh, 374 and 5.5 uh, millimeter if you want to you can use this after that i continue to create this concession supplying curve up to this point which will be used in the sketch later and after that i created this three concession line for the reference okay now let's uh, is it the sketch and let's go to the right side view and on the right plane, you need to create this two vertical construction line first. And you need to add coincident relationship with the previous this two construction line. Be careful with this. After that, you need to create this 2D supplying curve at the back side. And make sure the endpoint of this supplying curve is contact with the vertical construction line. And after that, I create this construction line supplying curve up to this point. And here I also add vertical construction line, uh, which has coincident relationship with the previous construction line, which is uh, this one. Uh, you have to do this all to get the exact and better result. Okay, be careful with this. Now, let's exit the sketch. Now let's use the project cap command. Select this to cut, which is at the back side. And click on confirm. Okay, the result is quite good. Let's see it from the top view. Okay, there is perfect. Now let's go to the right side view again. Now create this 2D supply curve on the right plane by using the Convantity command and the concession supply curve, which we have created a moment ago on the right plane. You remember it right. And here we don't need to add any concession line for the reference because we have done it in the previous sketch. Now let's go to the top view. And again, you need to create this supply curve on the top plane by using the convertity command and the previous concession supply curve, which we have created in the top plane a moment ago. You may also remember it, right? And again, you don't need to add any concession line for the reference because we have done it in the previous sketch. Now let's exit the sketch. And now let's use the project cap command and select this to cap and click on confirm. Okay, look like the result is pretty good because uh, all the project cap are touching each other. Uh, this is the way we went. Now let's go to the right side view and now create this 2D supplying cap at the top by tracing the image uh, which is for the roof of this car. And you have to make sure the endpoint of this supply is contact with this projected curve. And also this point must have considered relationship with the previous love surface. Be careful with this. Otherwise we cannot create the surface that we want. And now let's create a reference plane for the guide curve. Our first reference will be the front plane. Okay, now let's so choose the distance option and set the distance to 2180 millimeter and flip the direction because I want to create this reference plane at the middle section of this car as you can see now we need to create a guide curve on this plane so right click and choose normal 2 and now let's unhide the frame image and right click on this new plane and choose sketch now let's create a 3 point supply curve just right here and click on this middle point and the third point will be right here okay uh, the end point must counter the previous two sketch so select this projected curve and select this point and choose PS relationship okay I need to add horizontal relationship on this arrow select this and choose horizontal Okay, now I need to add PS relationship on this point and this curve. Okay, now we need to go back to the frame view. 
and select this middle control point and you can adjust your curvature okay that's look good now is it a sketch let's hide this plane well by using this same technique you need to create two or more guy curve to get the better survey result so take your time to do it the procedure is exactly same as before Well, as you can see, I have created two more reference plane and two more guide curve between this projected curve and the 2D curve which is on the right plane. I hope you got the same result. Let me show you this clearly. Okay, as you can see, I have total three guide curve between this projected curve and 2D curve on the right plane. And you have to make sure these guide curve are contact with this projected curve and 2D curve. Otherwise, you cannot create the boundary surface that we want. And now let's use the boundary surface command. Select this 2D curve and this projected curve. Now let's go to the direction 2. And we need to select this edge from the lob surface. Now select this tree guy curve. And now select this projected curve for direction 2. And now click on confirm. Okay, as you can see, the result is quite good. That's why we created two or more guide curve to get the better surface result. Now, if you want to, you can mirror this all to the other surface. I mean, other side. Our mirror plane will be right plane. And let's select all these three body and click on confirm and now let's go to the service tab and choose slop service command and right click and choose selection manager and choose group selection and select all the edges from this back market okay and click on confirm now select all the edges from the other side choose selection manager and choose group selection and select all the edges again And select this two. Okay, and confirm it. Okay, the result has appeared. And confirm it again. Now let's go to the back side of this car. Now let's turn off this perspective view and right click on the front plane and choose sketch click on convert to command and now select this edge which is on the back side and this edge and click on confirm okay select all these curves and delete this relationship Okay, now let's create a center line to mirror this two curve to the other side. And use the mirror command. Select this two curve. And select this line. And click on confirm. Okay, let's create a construction line about right here. Now let's extend this curve up to this construction line and this curve to this construction line and let's trim the unnecessary curve okay let's change the visual style to shade edge now we can use the split command so choose split line sketch will be this one and surface will be this one and click on confirm Now let's use the delete phase command. We need to delete some phases. Okay, look like uh, these two phases enough. And click on confirm. Okay, we got the back surface. Now you can modify this back surface to install the other component. So take your time to do it.